Okay, so this kind of starts my present mic wig tutorial. Um, it's first time being present mic, so we will see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, so first the tools and materials that you're gonna need. So I've got a basic blonde long wig. Um, probably best to use a lace front, but kind of was just working with what my budget allowed me to buy. <laughs> um, and then I bought another wig from the same colour um, that I can just cut the wefts from. Um, and I've also kind of just hung up some wefts on the wall. Um, yeah, so that they'll be easier to use later on. Uh, I'm going to be using the foam core technique. Um, which, if anyone saw my gone wig, that's why I used that. Um, so I've got some foam here, and I've also got some primer and some paint that you use on the foam to kind of get it the colour of the base wig. Um, and then you're also going to need some high tack glue and a glue gun. And it's kind of standard comb and cutting kit. You've got to be got to be glued hairspray. Um, the curved needle is also useful because you're going to want to sew your foam core onto the wig, um, and then some thread of the colour of the wig. And then a hairdryer, so they're kind of the main, main things you're going to need. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and talk through how I'm going to be making it. Could go either way, we'll find out. So yeah, let's see how this goes and hopefully it turns out okay. Okay, so first I wrap the foam around the wig base using pins to secure it to the wig head. I also safety pin to clip it around the back um, and then use hot glue to just glue the foam together on the back. Here you can see I'm just drawing on the spikes um, in pencil and then cutting out the shape of scissors. Uh, I also use just hot glue whenever it was needed to glue it together more securely. Um, so yeah. That wig. <laughs> um, so yeah, then I painted it um, kind of a mixture of yellow and white, and I pinned up the hair at the back so that it would be ready to cut. Okay, so here's the final comb with this weird cockatoo spikes cut into it. Um, what I've done is I kind of tied up the hair that will be under the cone and I cut it all off so that I can just use it to glue onto this when I need to. Um, and then I used hot glue to glue it on to the um, base wig uh, and you really need to kind of try and get it onto the sort of base wefts rather than actually onto the hair because they will stay better. What I'm going to do though to make sure it stays properly is use a curved needle and some thread and I'm just going to sew it down to the base so that's what I'm going to do next and then once that's done then I can start working on attaching all the hair. Okay, so I finished sewing the cone onto the wig base. The next step is to add all of the hair and wefts onto 
the cone so it looks like an actual wig rather than just a giant foam comb. So what I've got is I've got another wig on, in matching colour or you can just buy straight up wefts. Um, so yeah I'll try and sort out tangles and then I'll see how I get on with attaching the hair and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so this is what you do when you're working with the wefts. So you just take one, cut along the top, and kind of just brush out any knots or kinks. And you take some of your high tack glue, spread it over the end of the wig hair, and try and kind of spread out the hair strands so that you're kind of coating them all. Done that, you can use your hairdryer. Okay, so that gives you your weft. And you take your wig. This is where you use your glue gun. Put a little dab of hot glue onto the end. And Glue it on like this. And so that's it attached. And then that's the weft attached to the end and then you can kind of add some glue to the tips and then kind of clean up this point. So I'm just gonna kind of go around, do more of this and then I'll see you in a more progressed state. <laughs> So I'm onto the back, um, I need to add some more wefts because it's super thin at the back so what I'm doing is I've got wefts from another wig that I've cut up and I'm just going to use a glue gun and then glue them on. Yeah, you just kind of hold it on until it dries properly. and. Right on to burn fingers. I 
I forget that a lot. And just kind of stick my hand in hot glue, like all the time. I'm just like, this is fine, this is just pain. You can also sew in the wefts if you want, um, but I I just can't be bothered with that. So <laughs> gluing it is. Okay, so that's all glued, and then what I'll be doing is just spraying them up. So that this bit's all this bit's all filled. 